Hello guys, welcome back with me Potato Roboto. Today I am going to do another unboxing of this McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. This time it's going to be Superman. And looking at the box, well basically it's the same as uh, the rest of this DC Multiverse. You see a huge window over there. Basically you see the figure and the accessories and it seems that one of the Superman's hands are uh, falling down. Um basically this is the box it's really huge it doesn't really fit one take in my camera so there you go there's 22 moving parts you see the name of superman here this is on the back side you see the comics it's the inspiration of action comics 1000 issue and let's just go ahead and let's we open it and then i will just uh, show you what is going on and up close look of the figure so that's done. I will just uh, straight get this out. So you see, oh yeah, I will just show you what we got. We've got this, the stand, and this is uh, to make him uh, flying. And of course, this is a stand. You get a nice mini art print of the comic cover, and this is the figure. There's still um, these uh, wires that I need to pull off, and then I'll show you the figure up close. So this is the figure. I really like it. This is uh, the health sculpture. Look at that. It looks just straight out from the comics with the jawline and everything. It just looks very nice. This is the sculpture of the head. Looks very detailed. And the hair itself looks very neat. And this is also on the back side. Oh, there's a bad uh, pain over there. So I guess I'm quite unlucky. But. <clears throat> Looking at the logo, I really like the paint jobs that's done with the logo, you can see. It's using a glossy red, so it looks just as shining as ever, and looks very cool. With this uh, nice combination, I really like in general the, the combination colors of super and costumes. It looks very simple, yet very vibrant, so it looks very just uh, really nice. And basically this is a uh, dress, you see those uh, muscular structure and on the back side I also like nice detail of the cape. This is rubber, it's a standard that, that's being used in the action figure. And this is underneath, this is the belt and the lower parts of uh, the boots. You see those nice extra details over there and also here. And regarding the articulations, you can basically move it quite uh, flexible for his head, like that. And the torso itself, you can. There are two parts of articulation: upper and lower, and around the waist. The waist, you cannot just uh, you move it a little bit. And this is the arms part. Look like that. There, and there. You can just uh, move it like that, and you can move it also to the back side. So it's quite okay-ish, for some part it's quite restrictive, like this, the leg part, you can just move it uh, like this, this is the furthest that I can pull, and this, you can twist it between the knees and also the toes, here I'll show you, bell, and you can uh, move it like that, and also this, so that's that for the figure. In terms of accessory, it only comes with these two arms. Basically, it's not a pair. And if you look, one of them is like a holding version, and the other one is a fist. So there's that. And once that's already been uh, attached, is the open version. So you get uh, only one pair and a different uh, kind of arms for each side. So speaking about the heights, this is a McFarlane figure, so it's a 7 inch figure and normally you will found in markets, usually it's a 6 inch figure, but this one is going to be taller. For comparison, of course, I have, uh, first I have this, this is a figure arts of a uh, dead shot. Look how small it is, this is 6 inch, this is a uh, 7 inch, and then I have here Doctor Doom. Marvel Legends, you guys should check uh, my review about that. You can also see how small he is compared to Superman. Although this is a Marvel Legends figure, it's already taller than most of the Marvel Legends figure. So you see, it's still a difference. Now, I have also here 
the Batman McFarlane also from DC Multiverse look how nice it is H you so the they are how oh, well see it's 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 mess right now but uh, if you look again if you look again then it's basically the same height I just show it over here so it's more or less you you if you want to combine it between the six inch or seven inch then you just need to play with the uh, angles around it well that's my unboxing and review for the latest DC multiverse Superman I am really liking also this figure it will be looks really nice if I stand it next to the Dark Knight and what do you guys think if you find this video is interesting then uh, hit likes sounds off also in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future DC Multiverse unboxing and review. That's it for now. Potato Roboto signing out. Bye-bye.